It's great to be back in Hobnob. Great to see everybody. Kind of miss the tent, but it's great to be inside, and thank y'all. It's a great opportunity to talk to business leaders about where we're going and what's happening now, and I want to do that a little bit today. Some of this you hadn't heard before. On the now side, we purchased 2,580 acres at the mouth of the Pearl River with no state funds this year. We also purchased a third of Cat Island on the Gulf Coast. For those of you from the Gulf Coast, we are inventorying our natural resources so that all Mississippians will be able to enjoy them in perpetuity. We worked hard with school boards this year and with members of the Board of Supervisors. Through the 16th section land uh, operations that we joined with them on, we generated $90 million this year off, off our school system, for our school systems. Another $22 million went to Northeast Mississippi for their school districts. $112 million went from our 16th section lands this year, and every penny of it goes to school children. Not one penny comes to administration. For those of you, I don't think I need to tell you this, but those of you in Southwest Mississippi, you're going to experience one of the biggest economic booms we've ever had there. Finally, in the last year, I negotiated $10 million in royalty payments alone in Pike, Wilkinson, and Amit counties, Mississippi. $10 million in royalty alone. When that, when that economic boom comes from the shale oil there, we're going to need all the infrastructure, all the products, all the pipelines, all the places to house people. Everything that you need as you create another economy for Southwest Mississippi is on its way. And we need to be preparing for that today. In our business services division, many of y'all have complimented us on our website. We just redid that. We filed three quarters of a million documents this year. Three quarters of a million documents came to us. Now, on our website, everything's electronic. If you want to form your corporation and your LLC, instead of having to wait two weeks, you have to wait less than two seconds in Mississippi. Mississippi is the only state to have all of its documents online. No other state does that. It's particularly business friendly in Mississippi. And of course, we have the lowest filing fees for LLCs annual reports in the country. It's zero. We don't pay anything for the work that we do for you. So we're, we're going about cutting our, our corporate filing fees and we're going about cutting a lot of things and this year, again, we cut our budget $800,000 from last year. Mississippi businesses create Mississippi jobs. Mississippi's government needs to be about creating the environment for you to create those jobs. We need to spur that growth. On party primaries this year, part of the now part, they were very contentious in Mississippi. Party primaries are run by the parties. They're not run by state government. And they need to be run by the parties. They don't need to be run by state government. That said, you have the only state that implemented voter ID this year without federal lawsuit or intervention. The only state. Thank you, and a lot of y'all worked hard on that. You know, Texas, South Carolina, North Carolina, Arkansas, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, they all got sued, but you didn't. They spent millions of dollars on legal fees, but Mississippi didn't spend any of that. You really ought to be congratulated. And then when it came to election day, which is just next Tuesday and don't forget to vote, 99.9% .9 of you showed up with an ID, 99.9%. After literally decades of continuous contentious political debate on this event, it turned out to be a non-event because you did that. We need not to forget that Mississippi is the first to allow electronic voting for overseas people, men and women in our overseas service men and women. We're also one of the first states to allow texting to remind you to go vote, and I just got mine the other day on my, on my iPhone. We're also the ones that have a poll locator. If you put your address in, it'll show you where to go vote, 
And not only that, it'll pull your ballot. The ballot you'll see on Tuesday is up on our internet. These are tremendous steps forward for Mississippi that we've never done before. Most states never do. You won two national awards for your voter ID commercials. Like Oscars, you won two of them. No other state won any of them. When you go back and look at the last election cycle, you'll see that the circuit clerks and the, and the Secretary of State, we were both sued so that we had to release your birth dates, 1.8 million birth dates out into cyberspace, just like Attorney General Hood was talking about. We fought against that. You have the right for your state to defend you, and we did, and we won twice in the Mississippi Supreme Court, and we won in the Federal District Court. You also need to remember in Mississippi, in the last few years, we've been to the Supreme Court twice and won. We've been to the Mississippi Supreme Court twice and won. We've been to the Federal District Court, the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, and you won every single one of those about voting rights. And Mississippi did that. We were the only state to have that record. Even though we've had a successful last year, there are a lot of opportunities this year, and let me tell you where I think we need to go. First, we need a crowdfunding bill. That allows you to raise money over the internet, each of you to raise money over the internet with minimal capital, minimal government regulation. We need to, we need to expand the regulations on metal theft in Mississippi so that they cover farm implements and farm tractors and also four-wheelers, which seem to be the choice for theft in Mississippi. We need to operate state government on an efficient manner without hundreds of agencies, boards, and commissions dictating policy and costing additional taxpayer dollars. And we need to give some money back to the people who paid it. A budget surplus should not mean our government needs to spend more. Finally, we need to provide a cost-efficient quality health care for our citizens where we don't eliminate their own job in doing that. We've made great strides in Mississippi, and we're going to have a great and bright future. I appreciate the opportunity to serve each and one, every one of you in any capacity you select me for, and we'll look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you so much. Y'all have a great day.